I wanted to show you division in the lower elementary classroom. How we do division in the lower elementary classroom. Um, we, right now we have third year students, second year students, and even first year students doing division. <coughs> A lot of times the students who are doing the division have already been introduced to addition, multiplication, and subtraction, all with materials. And they also have done um, addition facts, multiplication facts, and subtraction facts. So, um, the children have already used the golden beads from the early childhood classroom, so they're familiar with that. And when they get to the lower elementary, and sometimes even in early childhood, they do, they get out the stamp game. And the stamp game is that one step closer to abstraction, where they can do the, the work without uh, the concrete material. So they, it's, we slowly wean them from the materials. But, um, but we really encourage down in lower elementary still to use the materials to understand the process. So we will do division. The first lesson for division is always done with the stamp game in our classroom. So we will get, show them, uh, usually we will get, have several students that are ready for this lesson and we use the stamp game mostly because one of the things in the stamp game that's new to them are the Skittles. And up to this point they haven't used the Skittles or what are the Skittles for? Well we use them to show the divisor or the three in the problem that we're going to give them. So in this problem, the divisor is three, and the Skittles are the same color as our place values. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands. If I were to divide by 23, then I would have the blue Skittles out. But that's a whole other lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so the three here are, is the divisor, and then the dividend is built with the stamp game. So they build it 2,198, and then we tell them it's a, a fair process, so they have to divide that 2,198 amongst the skills. And they do this for a while with the stamp game. This, when we do the division, then, in any of our processes, we'll go back and review the other processes. Let's throw in the addition with the subtraction and the multiplication, see if they're remembering what they have to do. And so we go back and forth back and then forward and then back. When they come back to the division after reviewing some of the other processes, then we go into the test tube division, a step even more closer to, or is that right, even more? Yes. <laughs> closer to abstraction, yeah, yes. into the long division. Yeah. And so Megan will, it, it's going to show you the actual lesson for the test tubes, because the test tubes is one of our favorite uh, divisions. Yeah. And this, like Ms. Liz was saying, shows the long division. So the problem that I'm going to be doing is 8,147 divided by 6. The beads here represent the dividend, which is 8,146. Like Ms. Liz was saying, with the Skittles, that represents the divisor. And the board here um, represents the quotient each time. So also with the um, test tube division, we work with the material from left to right, so we start with the largest value and work our way to the smallest value. So with this work, how you set it up is we're going to use these cups. The black represents millions, the gray, oops, this is what you were talking about. With the, yeah, when they fall out. And it happens, we've had them. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> the black is the millions, the gray trays are the thousands, and then we have our units, tens, and hundreds. So my problem is 8,147. And the colors are the same from early childhood. The units are green, tens are blue, hundreds are red, and our green, again, is our thousands. Our divisor is six, so I'm going to take out six Skittles. And usually when they get to this step, we, we usually say, oh, these are your six friends. And we're going to divide 8,147, what? Pieces of candy, toys. That way it's fun for them. Let me set up the problem. So I'm going to take seven beads out of here. And each test tube has 10 in them, because it's base 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
sometimes we will tell them, make sure you count your test tube. Yeah. Because if it gets tipped over, sometimes there are less in the test tube, sometimes there are more, so each time we use one. And that usually happens too. Mm -hmm. And we need one and then five fall out. And All right, so our problem is set up now. Now I'm going to write out on the board. 8,147 divided by six. And usually down here at the bottom, I'll put a little guide. And what this guide is, is it stands for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So an easy way for them to remember it is daddy, mommy, sister, brother, and sometimes, we have a remainder, which is Rover, the dog. <laughs> Start with the largest value. So I need to distribute these eight beads among our six friends. And one of the things that children, again, you know, they've already they're familiar with exchanging and or carrying over whatever there are different terms for that so they are familiar that they might have to exchange something yeah if you'll notice it went in equally between our six friends one time with two leftovers so i'm going to put those two back in our cup so the answer here is one so i just divided now i need to multiply one times six is six <coughs> The next step is to subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. I can check my answer because there's two beads left in the cup. Mm -hmm. The last step is to bring down. Once I exchange my two thousandths, one thousandths gets one test tube of 100. Ten hundreds equals 1,000. Mm -hmm. Oops. And again, exchange. So now in my hundreds cup, I have 21 beads. It's always important you clear the board each time you start your dividing over again, the process. Now I need to start distributing. Another thing that students will start to do is they start to estimate. How many times do you think 21 <coughs> beads are going to go into six? And usually, because they've been practicing their multiplication, their guess is usually pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. I have three left over, so I'll put those three back in here. My answer is three. Start the process again. I just divided, now I multiply. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. I usually show all their work. 3, which I have the 3 in my cup. And bring down. Now I need to exchange. 100 is 10 tens. The kids will get really good at this. They'll put two in at one time because they like to take both test tubes and act like they're scientists and dump them in. The next step is to clear the board. And in your blue cup, you have 34. Yes. When a child usually does this work, how many, how many different problems do they do usually at an individual setting? It, it depends on it depends on the child. Some children will get it quickly and they can do three or four. At the very beginning, uh, we usually will expect them to do at least two because by the time they lay it out and count them and put them back in, mm -hmm. then uh, two is, it takes them a good amount of time to mm -hmm. do just those two. Yeah. You know, the more they, again, the more they do it with materials, they see the three left over, and like Megan said, you know, their multiplication facts, they already, like, oh, 
I get, and it's it's great to see that little light bulb go on. Mm -hmm. like three times six is eighteen, and so they just go on from there. And as you can see, I have four left over, so that's not going to work. So my answer is five. Just divided. Now I multiply. Five times six is thirty. Subtract four. And I have four left. So they always check their work with the material and then clear the board. Multiplication fact work is very similar. They have the skittles and then they use beads. Um, and they, they will lay all the beads out to do their fact work. bring down my last number. So now I'm going to have to distribute 47 after I exchange. 110 is 10 minutes. Oops. I want to take a chance on what it's going to be. Is it six? <laughs> oh, what six times six? Uh. Material that um, every year when we get first year students that come in, they're just drawn to it. Yeah. Well, look, can I do this? Mm -hmm. And they'll pull it out. Oh, you'll get there. You'll get there, but not today. <laughs> because it's, it's, it even looks fun. It's like, oh, what are these? Mm -hmm. Same one. So I'm going to put those back in my cup. The answer is seven. Seven times six. Be two. Subtract five. And I have five beads in my cup. So that is my remainder. Now, one thing when she did the six times seven, if the children aren't Oh, nice. Math facts are not automatic, then they can count the beads, and on the board there are 42 beads, so they know that's what they're subtracting. 